Leah just said she feels like she's in a Nat Geo movie. What's up, P Nation? Today we are getting on a train and heading to... Romania! We're so excited to go to Romania. It's our very first time. We cannot wait to enter the land of castles. <laughs> Prince Charles' favorite getaway retreat. We're so excited, but we have to take a train all the way from Varna, Bulgaria, here on the Black Sea, all the way to Bucharest. The capital. So the first we gotta catch this train. <laughs> Our engine is docking right now, right next to us. We're in the front car, second class. First class was really nice, but we saved like how much? Four dollars? Yeah. <laughs> Budget travelers. Every penny counts. <laughs> but yeah, Leah's sadly Bulgaria because she just like loves it here. I do. I love it. Everything is really inexpensive, and that's not like necessarily why the I love it. reason to love it. It's a good reason, but also everybody's really, really nice. Our impression of Eastern Europeans is like. That really to cold be. shoulder, yeah. yeah. Because when we were in Croatia nice. a couple years ago, it was just like, oh, fine, like next, that. next. Right. Which is fine, we expected it, but that was just like the impression we thought we were good. Everybody here is so warm and accommodating and just like loves that we're here, and we just got like such a great impression of mm -hmm. it just because of the people. Oh, yeah. And it's very cheap. No, for sure. And I love it because of like all the Soviet monuments and the ties to the past, and like the building we stayed in was block number 31. That was like a communist building, so it's just like interesting to see the past and the people living in the yeah. past, not living, living in the present and the past relics I guess you could say so and the architecture that was built in the communist era. exactly in and I don't know if I've told you guys yet but we are powered by electricity like we're connected to this cable I don't know if you can see it we have a little trolley that's taking us by electric power and we made it so the train stopped we started getting everything together and then it started moving again building in the bathroom was like I expected moaning Merle to like shoot out of the toilet. She's a little sensitive. Seriously, this place is old. <laughs> because we have like three hours here in the Roos station. So it's interesting, Bulgaria doesn't have like, they have, they have restaurants, I don't want to say they don't have restaurants, but they don't have like a lot of them. So the ones I did pass were like, like definitely sit down places. So I just went to a, a villa, which is a grocery store. 
and I got us some food. And that's it. Three hours have passed, yeah. and we've just been sitting here. Yeah. Reading news stories, you know? Sit on things and do nothing. So now our train just arrived. I think we're gonna head up there at least in like 30 minutes. We are actually on time. To the bridge. <laughs> So we made it, our Airbnb host was supposed to pick us up, but it's not gonna work. So plan B is fine public transportation. Apparently it takes an hour to get there, so I don't I know. I don't think it's gonna take that long. But so far, Bucharest is like super hipster, so many young people, very different from Varna. All right, we found an ATM, we found the bus tickets, we know what bus we need to go on, now we just have to wait for the bus. Did it again. This has become our real routine for us. Of just like packing up everything, sweating all day, trying to get where we're going. Like aimlessly looking around for where we're trying to stay the night, meeting the nicest people, have them give us an amazing little tour, being absolutely exhausted. But we're here. We did it again. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I don't think you're ready. Who's next? This is the first bathtub we've had. Well, it's the second one on the trip. But first hotel bathtub we've had on this entire trip. We've been on the road for five months now. I don't think you're gonna fit. Wow. Room tour. Cutest little kitchen in the world. Couch that pulls out. Little seating area. Itty bitty TV. And a bathroom. With a washing machine. And that is it. We're calling it a day. It was amazing to be on the train that long. I had no idea yeah. that we could see so much of the countryside. It kind of reminded me of Iowa back in the United States with all the yeah. cornfields. But yeah, I think, think this apartment and this town are going to be pretty yeah. cool. Train travel is our new favorite thing and Bucharest <laughs> seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Our quadruple locked it. We got one, two, three. One more. Oh, I did one before that. Oh, it's pitch black. Well, that's not airy. Transylvania. I'll call this a full grocery cart. This is what you get when you live in an Airbnb. Calling all Narnia fans. What? Edmund. And 20 bucks later, we're stocked up. 